The Stone Ages by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. The Stone Ages are exactly what they sound like. They're the age of when stone tools were used by hominids. Paleolithic. If you remember from your vocabulary, paleo means old and lithic means stone. The old stone age. This period lasts from about 2.5 million years ago to about 20,000 years ago. I say about because we're not exactly sure. Around 2.5 million years ago, a hominid first started using stone tools. Do you remember who it was? If you said Homo habilis, you're right. Please make a note of that. H-O-M-O -O, space H-A-B-I-L-I-S and it always should be capitalized because it's a name of a species. During this time, communities were small. No more than 20 to 60 people were working together to find food. Why do you think homes were so small? Well, the communities themselves. It's because they didn't have enough food. If you have more food, your community could be bigger. These are hunters and gatherers. Food is gained through following and hunting animals, as, weather, as well as gathering plants. Does this sound like a very effective way to get food? No, it's not. It's not efficient or effective. Why? Because you're relying on other things for this to be successful. Are the herds near you? Can you hunt them? Are the berries ripe? Are plants growing? Please write that in on the side. Not the most efficient. In reality, people during the Paleolithic age are just trying to survive. Survival is what they are trying to do. Eat enough food to live another day. During this stage, they are able to control fire, thanks to Homo erectus. Trading is very rare during this part. Why do you think? Well, if you remember from your vocab, trading can really only take place if there's a surplus, at least often. If you have a lot of extra things, you're willing to trade them. But if you don't, it's not going to happen as often. And most of the time, a lot of these groups don't have a lot of contact with each other. They're often competition. What are tools? The tools during this part are stones from hunting found in nature. Some already with a cutting edge, but as we transition to Homo erectus, we'll find out that sometimes they were able to start making a cutting edge. Tree branches, leaves, attached to stone are sometimes made for shelter. And these people are nomadic. Remember that, they're nomadic people. Shelters for some of them were the nearest cave or rough tent-like structure that they're later on able to build. This period started with Homo habilis, notice how it's capitalized, and ends with the Homo sapiens. How do we know this? How do we know it starts here and ends here? Please make a note of this. Please write down what you think, and that will be the do now. Make sure you write that in, do now, to the answer on the board. 
I expect it to be filled in, even if it's wrong. Please take a moment and highlight 2.5 million years to 20,000 years ago, community small, 20 to 60 people, hunters and gatherers, trading rare, nearest caves. Now, as you'll see right next on the bottom of the sheet, it says three characteristics that are unique to the Paleolithic age. Please take a few moments, pause the video if necessary, and write in three characteristics you've noticed that would be unique or new to the Paleolithic age. Although I'm going to keep going, if you need to pause, feel free. Here's an example of a Paleolithic village. It's pretty rough, basic stone tools. Notice that the men are hunting and the women are with the children or making clothes. They do have fire, although it looks like she's sitting in the fire, which is a little disturbing, but we'll make do. Mesolithic. From your vocabulary, you know that meso means middle, lithic means stone. And this is a transition from the Paleo to the Neolithic age. What makes this unique is that we're not really sure about the, Pale the Mesolithic age. If we're even going to categorize it as that. It's a transitional period. It begins roughly around 20,000 years ago and goes up to 8,000 years ago. 8,000 years ago is when we know without a shadow of a doubt, that the Neolithic Age begins. But you'll learn about why in just a second. This is a stage of more advanced tools, but it's still not Neolithic. In fact, it's still up for debate. Some people are just going to, our, our archaeologists and historians are deciding to maybe just call this the Upper Paleolithic Period, as in it's the last part of the Paleolithic Period. It's the transition to settling in smaller areas. They're less nomadic. Instead of potentially traveling, you know, all of the South Shore, maybe they're just staying in Cohasset now. They figured out a way to track specific animal groups, and they're beginning to see what plants they can get on a regular basis. They're still hunting and gathering meat, fish, berries, nuts, and fruits. Fishing is really helpful. Once especially the Homo sapien comes up with a hook, it makes their life a lot easier. And they're beginning to collect wild crops and hunt specific animals. Specifically, they're starting to notice that certain plants grow at certain times. What do you think that's going to lead to? If you can notice when a plant grows, and maybe you can figure out that it has seeds, what are you thinking? If you said farming, you're right. They're also beginning to identify rocks that can be sharpened very easily, how to hit them against each other, and how to make it really efficient and effective. Please take a moment and highlight 20,000 years ago to 8,000 years ago, Smaller areas, less nomadic, still hunters and gatherers. If you need to keep writing, do so. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Welcome to the Neolithic Age. Neo means new, lithic still means stone. And this begins 8,000 years ago, right up to 3,000 BCE. Why 3000 BCE? Take a guess. If you said the Bronze Age, you're ahead of the game. Write that in, please. B R O Z E, capitalized B, age, A G E. 
The Bronze Age starts at 3000 BC, and we're sure about that. The best stone tools are made during this period, and it marks the development of agriculture, farming, and the domestication or taming of animals. They even made plows out of antler, stone, and they domesticated animals, even helped them. What are some animals that you would think would help them in agriculture? Ox, bull. They, t they, did, they started to, to figure out that animals, cows, horses could be used to help them with farming and hunting even, in horses' cases. New jobs are available. Why? Because there's a surplus of food. You're a farmer now. You can go farm the land all day. Who invented farming? There's some thought that it was actually women, and that men take it over later on and move the women inside to the house to make baskets, be weavers. Make a note of that right here. Agriculture. Pro probably invented by women. And they're able to live now in permanent shelters with large communities, sometimes over a thousand people. They're located in fertile areas near the Mediterranean or other large water sources. Near the Fertile Crescent, in Mesopotamia, near the Tigris and the Euphrates, in the Indus River Valley. River valleys are really where it's at. Write that down. River valleys are great spots. These homes are rectangle and made out of packed mud brick. Stone tools and branches were added to strengthen the walls and roof. And there's an opening on the wall, in the wall, for people to climb in. They, didn't want, they don't want animals to sneak in. Write that down. High entrance to prevent animals from getting in. And they use ladders. Would you like to get to your house every day by a ladder? Sounds like a lot of fun to me. Well, except if I have to carry in the groceries. And there's several rooms now, including a room to honor the gods and goddesses. Understand this is that the ability to not have to worry about food, thanks to the domestication of animals and agriculture, means that people have time to do other things. They can start to look outward. Things they can't explain are often things they worshipped. The sun, the power of the water, even fire. Trading begins to take place, and you're able to get supplies no longer that you just need, but things that you want. Popular items are flint and obsidian, types of stone, and hematite. You ever heard of hematite? It was an early form of lipstick. And trading helps with the spreading of ideas, and knowledge is gained from distant lands. If you think about it, each room is like a subject in school. Write this down. Each room, each village would have been like a subject. And by going to different subjects, going to different villages, you gained more knowledge about other things. If you stayed just in math, you'd only be good in math. If you only learned English, you'd only have good writing skills. In science, you'd learn the scientific method. You'd be experimenting the whole time. The combination of these ideas bring people together and allows for a dramatic increase in growth. Knowledge skyrockets. Notice that this is only five, less than 5,000 years. It's probably even about three. It's very, very short. Remember, years ago was like BP. And people 
begin to realize that life is safer. You're not worried as much about large animals with walls protecting you. People are more comfortable. Life is more interesting. And you're no longer just surviving. You're looking to beautify your life. Make your life better. Please take a moment and highlight 8,000 years ago 3,000 years to 3,000 years ago new jobs available large communities 1,000 people highlight river valleys use your highlighter to circle this area about the homes and the gods highlight hematite early and um, lipstick highlight trading helped with the spreading of ideas and knowledge for distant lands and looking to beautify here's a look at what some early if you need to of course pause the video feel free to do so here's a look at some old homes notice that they're square in shape rectangular in this case And just a little bit of humor from the Paleolithic Age to the Neolithic Age. The end. Please write down a nice little smiley face at the bottom of your page and write in three unique characteristics about the Neolithic Age.